In total, particip participants today have committed more than 1.5 billion euros to the table for Ukraine. The United Kingdom is setting up a fund in order to gather financing for increased productions of weapons. But money alone will not do the trick, as you say. We need increased productions. I'm grateful to Poland, Slovakia, and the Czech Republic, who have today signaled willingness to expand productions of artillery system, systems, ammunition, and other equipments. We have also discussed training of Ukrainian soldiers. A number of countries, including Denmark, have today committed to supporting the British-led uh, oper Operation Interflex that trains Ukrainian recruits in the UK. Our partners know that we need funding and they um, articulated readiness to support us financially. To finalize, I would say that light will drive out darkness. That Russia are starting to fail in many areas. They have failed so far and are unlikely to ever succeed in occupying uh, Ukraine. Their invasion has faltered and constantly been remodified to the extent they are really only focusing in parts of the south and in the east, a long, long way away from their three-day so-called special operation. Three days are now over 150 days and nearly six months in, with huge significant losses of both equipment and indeed Russian personnel. Not a surprise, President Putin was warned by friends and adversaries alike from presidents and prime ministers not to do this unwise and illegal thing. He's ignored it, and we're here today to show that six months on, we're still as determined as an international community to stand up to him and to stand up to the threat and to help Ukraine re-establish its sovereign territory. New money pledged today, or is that previous pledges included? Look, and on the subject of fatigue, uh, it's not quite blaming the media, but it, you know, I don't choose the running order of the BBC website. You know. When, you, when Ukraine drops down the website of the media and you put Celebrity Love Island or whatever it is in number one or number two or number three or, or you know, whoever, you know, whichever member of the royal family fell over that day, you know, that, that's, uh, that's not my decision, right? That's the media. And my point is, if you look at the actions of the international community, the actions of the international community on Ukraine are still on an upward trajectory. <laughs> Probably you remember the um, uh, breaking the rules of smoking on the warship Moskva. After that, uh, she became the very popular dive site for future days, dive spot in the Black Sea. So uh, I would say that it depends on the distance from what place we will hit them, the military objects. It depends on the place when you will hit it. It depends on their range. It shows a satellite image from today or yesterday, last night, that shows uh, a significant damage to the uh, squadron of, I think, the maritime Russian uh, aircraft there in the portion of sort of double figures, 10 or 11 planes lost. But that is unconfirmed by my own sources. That's only what is there in open source. Uh, I should think those explosions were particularly huge and uh, would have had a big effect on uh, anything within its uh, proximity to it is what I would say, but...